One thing about shifting over to Cubase 9 was I had to let go of some fairly old, you know, crusty plugins. Um, you know, because obviously Cubase 9 will only deal with 64-bit. And I knew that was a step I had to take. I kind of resisted it for a while. The thing is, is that you realize there are 64-bit uh, versions of a lot of things now, and or there are better versions um, out there in the world, even, you know, probably freeware versions. So it was something, uh, you know, that took me a while to get my head around. I had to let go of a few, you know, freeware plugins from 2003 and whatnot. But ultimately you realize that your computer is gonna run a whole bunch better on just an exclusive 64-bit system. And, uh, you know, I'm seeing less glitches and less problems like that. So, you know, I would definitely embrace the 64-bit as soon as you can.